guys I'm coming at you with a new video today and this is going to be a quick tutorial on how I like to make my lace wigs so for this wig I'm going to be using a spandex dome cap and I'm going to be using a tan color just because I feel like it makes the lace closure look flawless and I'll be using Ali Shay's Malaysian curly hair so at this point I already did the closure um, usually I like to line up the front of the closure with the front of the dome cap and then I sew it down and then sew all around and I flip it in front and start on the wefts. So I'm going to be starting with the longest weft first which is the 20 inch and I have the hair in a 16, 18, and 20. So to sew the hair, um, usually I don't sew on the bottom um, rim of the spandex just because I find that like if you sew down the spandex it'll be harder to stay on your head because it's sewed down I don't know if that makes sense but yeah I usually start um above where the spandex um the elastic is and I like to sew in an upward motion so going up towards the head and um usually I like to sew around the wefts instead of through the wefts and I find that um, it makes sewing a lot more easier when you go around the weft. And when I see that the thread is almost done, I like to cut it, split it into two, and then tie it down. And so that's what it looks like with all the 20 inch bundles. And I was surprised that I actually went through half of the head. So for the 18 inch bundles, I'm gonna double it. I know they say that you shouldn't double up um, curly weave just because it'll make it tangle. But in this case, I had to because I wanted to get the 16 inch there and I felt like I couldn't get it in there if I didn't double the 18. So here I am doing the 18s. As you can see, I'm still going around the wefts and it's just going real fast, real smooth.
And here I am finishing up with the 16 inch. As you can see, it's just a little bit of space left. So I'm gonna have some extra weave left over. So at the end, once again, I just tie the thread. I do that about four times so it's really secured and then I cut the excess with my scissors. And so that's the amount of weave that I have left. And so I'm happy that I didn't waste all the weave. I tried to get as much in as possible. So that's how much I have left. So here I'm fixing the closure. And usually I like to cut the lace at the end right before I put it on. I don't know why, I just like to do that. So I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. This is what the parting looks like, and this is exactly why I chose to use a nude or a tan colored dome cap just because it makes the lace look flawless. The scalp, as you can see, it looks really good, it looks really realistic, and I did not bleach the knots at all, so that's all like the dome cap working. And this is what it looks like once I wet the hair and put a little bit of leave-in conditioner in it and just a little bit of concealer on my parting space. As you can see, the curls are really popping. The wig came out nice and secured. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like it, give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.